Hello there future ACCs, this is Vishnu Vijay, a proud Fintrama and I am here to provide you with an overview as to what exactly the performance management syllabus is all about and of course what the exam looks like as well. However, before we dive into it, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon so that you will be notified about more informative content. Now, speaking about the performance management exam, what exactly is this exam all about? Let's take a look at that, shall we? So when we talk about the syllabus of performance management, there are a few things that should come to our mind. Okay, folks, first of all, what exactly does a management accountant do? That is basically the same thing as to what the particular syllabus would contain as well. Okay, folks, so first of all, a management accountant or someone who enters into that particular field would definitely will have to have the managerial capabilities, isn't it? So this particular syllabus area will involve some syllabus content that can improve the ECC student's managerial capabilities as well. So when we talk about the performance management syllabus, it's basically classified into six syllabus areas. Okay, so what exactly are these six syllabus areas? Let's take a look at that, shall we? First of all, we have part A that is information technologies and systems for organizational performance. So what exactly will we learn here? As the name suggests, we will be looking at all the technological aspects of an organization. And of course, we have a lot of uh, really interesting topics when it comes to this particular syllabus area. That is, uh, we have topics in relation to big data, data analytics, as well as various other softwares and techniques as well. Okay, folks, so remember that. So that's basically as to what we will be learning here. Okay, folks, how can these technological aspects improve an organization's performance okay folks because the whole subject is based or focused on the performance related aspects of an organization okay folks how can the organization improve their performance and achieve that particular organization's mission or objective that is exactly what we will be learning throughout the syllabus okay folks so remember that so so that's basically all about part a and then we have part b that is specialist cost and management accounting techniques so what exactly will we be learning here? We will learn about the costing techniques, such as life cycle costing, ABC costing. These are all modern costing techniques that we have. We will learn about all of these techniques and understand as to how a particular uh, cost is determined for a particular inventory uh, within an organization. Okay, folks, so that's basically the idea here. And what else? We will, of course, be looking at part C, that is decision-making techniques. Okay, so what's the idea here? When we talk about managers of a particular organization, what do they do exactly? They manage a team or a group of people within the organization, isn't it? So in order to manage a particular branch, a team, or a, set, a group of people, any, be it any group of people, you should have the necessary managerial capabilities, isn't it? So this particular syllabus area can enable an ECC student to understand that particular capability as well. Okay, folks, both in commercial terms and in uh, normal managerial uh, or managing people terms as well. Okay, folks, so remember that. So when it comes to decision-making techniques, one of the most important things that a manager does is make good decisions, isn't it? So what exactly are the different means through which a manager can make good decisions? That's basically as to what we will be learning in this particular uh, syllabus area. And of course, we will be learning about a lot of really interesting calculation related aspects as well. Okay, folks, remember that. And then we have part D that is budgeting and control. Okay, so what's the idea here, guys? You know, to control the people within the organization and, the, you know, to control the overall performance of the organization. What the organizations do is they set up certain targets and try to achieve them, isn't it? So this is exactly what we will be looking at in budgeting and control related aspects as well. Okay, folks, remember that. How exactly will we set targets? What kinds of targets are there? And how can we achieve it, etc.? All these things will be considered. And finally, we move on to part E, that is performance measurement and control. We can't just set the target and let it be, isn't it? We have to make sure that the organizations, each and every individuals within the organization are achieving the targets that has been set for them, isn't it? So this is exactly what we will be doing in uh, performance measurement and control. Okay, because we're measuring performance, 
to understand the extent to which the organization has performed to achieve their targets and to achieve its overall objectives as well. Okay, folks, so that's basically what we will be learning throughout the syllabus. And of course, there is one additional syllabus part as well, which is basically syllabus part F, employability and technology skills. Now, what exactly is this syllabus area all about? Let me tell you guys, this is a syllabus area that has been added to all papers within ACCA. Why exactly is that? Because this is so that the ACCA student would be trained regarding the CBE related aspects so that they can become compatible in writing the exam. And of course, that also increases their employability within the job market as well, isn't it? So that's basically the idea behind this particular syllabus area. Okay, there's no theory content to it, Ra rather, it's basically all practical skills. Okay, folks, that's basically it. And of course, we will be covering these practical skills when we practice a lot of questions within the video question marathon. What is the video question marathon? Basically, it's a video exam kit that we have. Okay, folks, so remember that. So that's basically all about the syllabus of performance management. Now moving on to the next aspect that is the exam structure. When it comes to the exam structure of performance management, it's kind of similar to all the other skill level papers as well. Okay, folks, we have three sections. Okay, folks, section A, B, and C, and it's a three hour exam as well, isn't it? So in section A, we have 15 MCQs, and this is for two marks each. And how much total marks will we get then? We basically get 30 marks in total from section A, isn't it? So that's basically it. And moving on to section B, we have three OTQs. Okay, so what are OTQs then? OTQs are basically objective test questions. Okay, folks, this is where you will be given a scenario and five MCQs in relation to the scenario. Okay, you don't have to write anything in this particular section. It's just uh, a multiple choice question, but in a different model. That's basically it. Okay, folks, all the MCQs would be related. All five of these MCQs for that particular scenario will be related to that particular scenario itself. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. That's basically the idea there. And we know that uh, since there are five MCQs, for, so we will get one for one OTQs, we will get a total of 10 marks, isn't it? So we have three of them. So that gives us yet again a total of 30 marks. Okay, folks. So for section A and B, we get a total of 60 marks, isn't it? And then what, what exactly is left over? We have 40 more marks, isn't it? And where do we get that from? Section C, isn't it? In section C, you will have two CRQs, or in other words, constructive response questions. Sounds like a cool name, isn't it? What exactly is that? Basically, a case study question. That's basically it. Okay, folks. So, from this case, each of these case study questions, each of these two case study questions will have 20 marks each. Okay, folks. So that is how you score the total 100 marks. Okay, folks. So, keep this in mind. You have to tackle 15 MCQs, 3 OTQs, and 2 CRQs, or in other words, case study questions. Now, some additional information that the examiner has given you is basically this. Okay, folks, uh, we don't, we're not exactly sure as to what all syllabus area would be tested within the uh, section A and B, because uh, the questions can come up from any part of the syllabus. Okay, folks, any part of the syllabus can be tested in section A and B. However, when it comes to section C, only questions from syllabus part C, D, and E will be tested here. Okay, folks, so that's basically a, a pointer or a hint that the examiner has provided to you, you with as well. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. So in section C, only uh, questions from syllabus part C, D, and E would be tested, which is basically decision-making techniques, budgeting and control, as well as performance measurement and control. So keep this in mind. Okay, folks, so that's all for the exam structure. So folks, there is a common misconception that a lot of students have regarding this particular paper. What exactly is that? Because people usually assume that this particular paper is completely a calculation uh, in a basis paper, isn't it? A calculation based paper. It involves a lot of numbers. So definitely all the questions that can come up in the exam will also involve numbers. Okay, folks. However, okay, this is just a misconception. Okay, folks, that's not the case because when it comes to the performance management exam, it is around 50% uh, calculations and 50% discussions as well. Okay, folks, you will have to understand the meaning behind the numbers to explain as to what these numbers are and to calculate the numbers in an efficient and effective manner, isn't it? So that's basically uh, a, a serious point that I would like to point out as well. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. 
So folks, a common presumption that a lot of ACC students have regarding the performance management paper is that it's a complete calculation paper. Okay, folks, however, that's not necessarily the case. Why exactly do I say that? Because when it comes to the performance management paper, it's 50% calculations and 50% discussion of those calculations as well. Okay, folks, so the best advice that I can give you regarding this particular paper is that you have to understand the meaning behind each and every number and the logical flow behind each and every calculation so that you can present the calculations to the examiner and explain what this calculation is and how can this calculation affect the organization that you're dealing with as well. Okay, folks, so remember that. And of course, we've covered all of these aspects throughout our video exam kit as well, isn't it? So we practiced a lot of past paper questions, a lot of exam standard questions, and a lot of questions within the CBE environment as well, so that you can get a better understanding as to how to tackle each and every question and present it in a better manner to the examiner as well. Okay, folks, so keep this in mind. That's all what I wanted to cover in this particular session. Feel free to shoot out any questions that you have within the comment section. And stay tuned for more informative videos as well. This is Vishnu Vijay, signing off for now.